Hey guys, welcome to Toy Collector here. Today we're going to take a look at Hasbro's new 80th anniversary Marvel Legends 2-pack of Wolverine vs. the Hulk. Uh, it's both characters as they appear in the issue of uh, The Incredible Hulk 181, and especially Wolverine. Wolverine has that, uh, that classic look. Um, the 2-pack's phenomenal, and the Hulk is, is ginormous. Let's take a look at the box art. On the side of the box here, we have uh, some illustrations of Wolverine in his classic uh, tiger-striped outfit there. Uh, definitely from the cover, or actually from the comic, of the uh, Incredible Hulk 181. And um, you can see that the Hulk is here. The Hulk obviously has changed over the years. Um, but more or less has always kind of been the same. Uh, this Hulk, we have the the, the illustration on the side here of uh, from the comic, and in the box here you see he's got like his ripped shirt. On the back here we have uh, just a little brief synopsis of both characters, and we have a look at the cover itself, so you can compare and see that. Uh, both of these characters are styled in that style from the comic. So let's open this up and take a look. All right, so here's Hulk and Wolverine out of the package. Before we take a look at them, um, so I want to show you guys this. So put that up there. Uh, this is uh, some photography done with the figures and with the... Uh, um, the Wendigo uh, build a figure. Quick shout out to Hasbro and the Litsky crew uh, for sending these over for us to review. They sent a whole box full of goodies, and uh, this was one of the ones I was in it. So thank you, and really do appreciate it. Um, and thank you for this cool little little picture there. So. Uh, now, here's our, our figures. We're going to take a look at them. And first, we'll take a look at Wolverine. I wasn't so sure if I was going to like Wolverine until I actually put him in my hands and looked at him. And uh, it's a really dope figure. I really do like that we got this first appearance Wolverine. You know, it's the yellow and black and blue Wolverine suit. But uh, instead of necks on his belt, he's got just a regular little belt buckle. And the face itself, um, it, it's, it's really cool. You know, I really do like it. So uh, as far as the size of the figure, um, it's just like the other Wolverines. Very smaller in statue. Um, here, the shoulder pieces are very small. You know, it's the way it was drawn in the comic. Uh, one of the things that's kind of baffling me about the figure, and I keep trying to see, is right here. I'm not sure what the hell this is. It's like it's, it's, uh, I, I really don't know. Really, I really can't say. I keep trying to push it in, but it's, uh, it's like a deformed piece that's on on the uh, the figure there. Um, as far as the rest, uh, very clean. I love the uh, the face sculpt. The rest of the body is very clean as well. Uh, I checked it over. No no real like bleeding through in the paints or anything like that. Uh, he does come as you see back there. An extra set of hands, so you can have a clawed and declawed version. As far as the articulation, full range of motion. It's got a bicep cut, double jointed elbows, and the wrist, good range of motion in the wrist. It's got an ab crunch, waist swivel.
And as far as articulation in the leg, good articulation. Got a thigh cut, double jointed knees, and even has some boot cuts going on there and some ankle articulation. So excellent, excellent range of motion for our Wolverine. As far as switching out his hands, very easy to just pop it out. And there you go. Very easy to switch out. All right, so that is Wolverine. We'll put him back here so we can take a look at our Hulk. Hulk comes with two extra hands, another open hand, and another closed hand. And just look at the size of Hulk next to Wolverine. The figure itself is massive. Now, one thing that's cool, I did not realize this in the package. You can take his little torn shirt off. Uh, I thought it was kind of attached to the body there, which I think would have made it a little bit cooler. Because... Um, I, I, I don't know, I just think it would have. Um, but it does come off, so you can take it off. And for anybody who hasn't seen this figure, um, this is probably one of the biggest Marvel Legends hulks that they've put out so far. And uh, it's not quite Marvel Select size, but it feels like Marvel Select weight. Good job. On the uh, on the face sculpt there, very classic, mean and green. Good job on the body. You see, he's very big, very very big figure. Good range of motion. Does have a bicep swivel. Single jointed elbows. He has wrist articulation, good range of motion on the head, he has an ab crunch, waist swivel. Now he's not super limber like Spider-Man, but he does have good range of motion. He's got a thigh cut, double jointed knees, and his big old feet have a little bit of articulation there, some ankle articulation. As far as switching out the hands on the figure, very easy and simple to do. Pop right on and off, and there we go. Um, I'd say by far this is probably one of my favorite Hulk figures. Very, very happy with this Hulk figure. Now, if we could just get a gray Hulk, a smart Hulk, um, in this scale with like this new body, gold glasses, that would be, I'd be incredibly happy. That would, that would be awesome. So, um, here we go, guys. This is, I'm just going to put this back here. So this is our Hasbro 80th Anniversary Marvel Legends Wolverine vs. Hulk 2-pack. Uh, this is the classic looking Wolverine and the uh, the Savage Incredible Hulk. So thanks for checking me out, guys. Um, check me out on Facebook. Check me out on YouTube, The Ultimate Toy Collector. Uh, check me out on Cool Dad Pop Culture Reviews and Toy News International and like the video share it let us know what you want to see again thank you hasbro and litsky pr for sending these out for us to review and until next time guys happy hunting